Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and I'm a vegan and living in London, originally from the US and Japan. And um, today we are doing another Veganuary taste test, uh, but this time we are trying Plant Kitchen, aka Marks and Spencer, uh, snacks and food. It's a lot of chocolate, a lot of sweets. Um, so yeah, just a heads up on that. But there is one savory item and then the rest will be kind of like desserty. But yeah, I went to Marks and Spencer the other day and they actually have a bunch of like meal options in their fridge section that are new, but I decided to go more for like the snacky side. Um, so that's why it's a lot more of like a dessert type of food. But anyway, the one savory thing that I picked up is this Plant Kitchen mixed bean chipotle chili with wild rice. Yeah, you just like heat it up in the microwave for two and a half minutes and it's done. Um, and it has tomatoes, onions, rice, black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, lots of spices. Seems pretty healthy. They also had like a lentil pot type of thing, similar to this, but with lentils, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Very hot. Smells good. Mm, smells like chili. Hopefully I don't burn my tongue. Mmm, it's pretty good. Definitely tastes like chili. It has a slightly weird kind of slimy texture. I don't know what it is. It tastes like a little bit too like gluey. I'm not a big fan of the texture, but like in terms of the flavors, it's pretty good. And I like that it's like quite healthy. So if you're in the mood for like a healthier lunch, this is good. <coughs> Next, we have the sweet stuff. Let's start with the cookies. So there's two new vegan cookies on the market. One is the double chocolate cookies, rich and indulgent cookie filled with dark chocolate. And then these are the chewy cherry bakewell cookies filled with oats, almonds, and cherries. So, I don't know which one to start. Maybe I'll start with the cherry because I'm slightly more intrigued. Cherry bakewell. They're quite big. They're like, <laughs> I don't know if that helps, but they're not small cookies. Cheers. Definitely almondy. Pretty good. It has a slightly artificial flavor, but I don't know. That might just be me because sometimes I feel like almond flavored tastes artificial, even if it's not artificial. So it could just be my taste buds, but I mean, it's okay. It's pretty good. I'll give that a six and a half. Sorry, I forgot to rate this, but I'll give the chili maybe five and a half. Let's try the chocolate chip next. Double chocolate. Ooh, these are super thick. I don't know if you can really tell, but they're pretty thick. Oh, it smells, it smells good. Oh, these are good. Mmm. They're definitely not a soft cookie. They're definitely like a, a harder biscuity type of cookie, but I like them. Really good chocolate flavor. I'm a chocolate lover, so I'm really happy with this. I'll give these a nine. More chocolate. We have the brownies. Now, these don't say that they're new, so I wasn't really sure if these were new, but I saw on Instagram that they're new for Veganuary, so Instagram is basically the truth, so I'm just gonna believe that it's new. <laughs> These are chocolate brownies, a rich and scrumptious brownie made with Belgian dark chocolate. Belgian dark chocolate, mm, fancy. I love brownies ever since I was a kid. I always preferred brownies to like cakes and cupcakes, so I'm very excited. Ooh. Look at these, they're so thick. It's a thick one. 
Oh my God, that's so good. It's fudgy, soft, super rich. This is the best brownie I've had in a while. It's really, really good. 10 out of 10, honestly. Cause I feel like brownies a lot of time are not quite brownies. Like they're too cakey or they're, I don't know. There's always like something off, but these are good. These are really, really good. Last but not least, we have the creamy cookie pots. Dark cookie base topped with a cookie studded creamy vanilla layer finished with Belgian dark chocolate ganache. Wow. These are mostly made with soya, wheat flour, lots of different oils. <laughs> they look like this. Nice layers. I'm, I'm assuming this is like a cookies and cream type of situation. Oh yeah, this cookies and cream. It's good, very sweet. Definitely has Oreo vibes. I really like it. I wish it was a tiny bit thicker. It needs a little bit more like oomph, I feel, but it's pretty good. Not as good as a brownie. I'll give this a seven and a half. Okay, so that's it for this, this week's taste test. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, as always, if you have any suggestions for me. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give this a like, a comment. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys that watch and subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye.